Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea. And I'm Howard. And we are with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And we are here today with a comfort foods taste test from Chick-fil-A. So they have some seasonal things out that are right now. We wanted to try them. And so we thought we would share that with you. So the first thing that um, we are going to try from Chick-fil-A is this chicken tortilla soup. Now, I don't know if this is a regional thing or not, but I definitely know it's a seasonal thing. Uh, chicken tortilla soup, it has uh, beans in it. It has um, chicken, of course. It came with these seasoned tortilla strips. Do you want any of these? No. Okay, so it comes with these, um, but I will say the consistency of this soup I'm gonna try, is, is pretty thick. Let me show you, it's pretty thick. And I- got I'm, corn in there too. And there's corn, yeah, it looks like there's corn. Uh, looks like there's maybe navy beans and also black beans in there too. So uh, thicker than what I'm used to seeing chicken tortilla soup. Um, so we're gonna give this a try. Ready, cheers. <laughs> I think it's good. You like it? I like it. You don't like it? It's a little bit too thick for me. I'm used to chicken tortilla soup being a little bit looser, but it does taste like, um, it definitely has a taco flavor and taco seasoning. The seasonings are very good, but it's just too thick for me. I would eat it. Okay, all right, your turn. It has a nice right. little kick. I feel a little spicy kick after. A little bit. Next up is, uh, Chicken noodle soup. And there are big old chunks of um, carrots, which you love. <laughs> He's being sarcastic. Not really. I don't really care for carrots. Is there any other vegetable in there? I don't know. So there's a uh, carrot. I see carrots and. Looks like celery. Oh, that's celery? Mm hmm. And, and then it looks noodles. like noodles. Is it kind of thick too? Yeah. But it's not as thick as that chicken tortilla soup. Right, I'll have some carrot here, which you don't like. No, I don't like the carrot. And I've got some too. Cheers. Cheers. It's good too. You like it? Yeah. I'm not a big fan of that either. I like soup, so. Yeah, yeah he does like soup, but I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, I like them both. It, I taste a lot of carrot in it. Even though I didn't have any carrot, like the carrots took over the the broth flavor. And it's thick. I guess maybe I don't like thick soups unless it's a chowder or something. Oh, it's all good to me. Okay, your turn. Okay, next up, good old mac and cheese. Now this one I was most excited about trying because everyone says it tastes like homemade kind of baked macaroni and cheese. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. I got a man sized piece. You got a little. Smaller. <laughs> Cheers. I like it too. That's pretty good. That does take, taste almost homemade. It, it does taste like a baked macaroni and cheese. If you've ever had baked macaroni and cheese, which is more like a custard, it's very cheesy. Mmm, that's pretty good. I like it. I like that one too. Three for three. I like them all. One for three for me. The last thing that we're gonna try out is um, they have a new yogurt parfait. It's a new improved recipe. So here it is. You can't really see the yogurt under all of it. So you have two options. You can get your yogurt topped with granola or you can get it to topped with uh, cookies. So I have it topped with cookies and you can see there are some berries underneath. Looks like blueberries, strawberries underneath that. But again, this is supposed to be a new and improved yogurt. So, um, let me grab a spoon real quick. Okay, so here we go. Ready? Trying to get to the yogurt part. Mmm. Oh. So long. Okay. All right, here's my scoop. It's a big scoop, and I have uh, I have a piece of strawberry in there with mine and some cookie and yogurt. Ready? Cheers. I think that's good too. Are those cookies like uh, Oreos? I think they are like Oreos. I will say, so the yogurt is not like a Greek 
tangy type of yogurt. It's very smooth and sweet. Did you think it was tangy? I like sweet. Yeah, so he likes sweet. It is good, but I do prefer like a tangier type yogurt. And this is not a tangy yogurt. Would I get it again? Probably, but I don't think I would get it topped with cookies. I would probably get it topped with just the um, traditional um, granola, I think. Oh, cookies are fine. You would get it with cookies again? Yeah, and I wouldn't think of getting it because uh, it's chocolate, but yeah, I liked it. Yeah, it was pretty good. So far, four for four. Four for four, and there is, I know you can't see it very well, but the, the, there's probably like, there's like half an inch of cookies in there. So there's a lot of cookie in there. Cookie crumbles, I should say. So that's it for our taste test. What was your favorite thing? I like them all. What was your favorite thing? <laughs> oh, I like the soups and the mac and cheese. Better than I like the, the yogurt. Yeah, that's This that's, is my I frustration. Like <laughs> What's your favorite thing? Can't they all be this big? No, you have to pick one favorite. Oh, I don't know. The mac and cheese was pretty good. Okay, and I would have to say the mac and cheese was my favorite too. So would I substitute the waffle fries for the mac and cheese in a combo meal? Which I probably would not. I would probably stick I'd with my waffle fries. You would get it in addition? Yeah, okay. I get more, not less. <laughs> but um, that's it. I think my least favorite thing would probably be that chicken tortilla soup because it was way, way too thick for me. What was your least favorite? The yogurt, just because it's yogurt. <laughs> All right, so that is our taste test. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we hope that you'll do so. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.